Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of Midlands to London, we're going to be doing something a little bit different in that we're going to be scheduling some trains and we're going to be changing some trains as well because I have progressed time forward ever so slightly to get access to those uh, Chilton Mainline loco hall services. I don't think I've done an episode or I haven't done an episode recently where I've just kind of taken a look at trains. It's just been pure building, trying to get as much of the network built as we can. But I thought in this episode we'd do something a little bit different. Um, in the last episode, we built Banbury State so that's all up and running now there is a Chilton service on it currently but we will be getting rid of that in a minute just to uh, yeah to put the actual proper services on or as close approximations to proper services as we can get we also built this junction so I've done a lot of work and I've had COVID again which is a little bit of a downer uh, wasn't wasn't seriously ill but I was ill enough to uh, make it difficult to record videos and edit but in that downtime I have done a little bit of work with the Chilton line so I've planted some trees and things like that uh, so what I'm tending to do is as we approach the town centres I'm just planting loads and loads of trees I know it's not high detailing but I think it's just more accurate so as you tend to approach into towns and cities you do get like trees at the backs of gardens and things like that so that's just one way of kind of detailing or decorating and then as we get further out with I'm starting to do fields and things like that so I've done a little bit of work here with fields obviously we've got this junction which we built in the last episode and a few of these like shrubs and things like that I really do like these shrubs or the hazels I think they are they are a common hazel and they just fill in gaps really nicely around tunnels and things like that and on the sides of bridges just to make it look a little bit more realistic so that's all nice I've got loads to do I've spent hours and hours you wouldn't think it just by the little bit that I've done here but yeah I've done all the signaling got the plain line in that I said I would do got Bista obviously we did that a few episodes back I've got a little bit of a tunnel which needs some decoration and we've got Princess Risborough Prince Prince's Risborough which I built in the last time lapse episode just after the Bran Banbury one so we've got Aylesbury hooked up now obviously a lot of this infrastructure possibly might not have been here yet because I think a lot of this was done during the upgrade especially the I think the Aylesbury to Prince Princess Risborough was but yeah I'm just building things as they are kind of today and we've got some track there what are you you're you're something obviously I've got to build more but yeah I've done done lots and lots of little bits off camera obviously you can see here just how many fields I've got to paint just to get this looking half decent I've done a little bit up here and a little bit around Solihull as well towards Birmingham so it's all coming together I think first thing I'll do actually I'll just stop talking and well I won't stop talking but I'll stop talking about what we're going to be doing and actually do what we're doing so I think I will pause the game and then I will take a look at those I think I'll just sell all these for now we don't it's not don't have to sell them but I just think that's probably the easiest way to do it right so as far as I can tell there are two distinct sets of services so where is Kidderminster so there's going to be a service one of the local hall services is extended to Kidderminster isn't it so I think the local hall service Services will be Kidderminster services but they're also a one of these so no I don't want to configure I completely forgot what I'm doing so let's get rid of let's just get rid of everything I think for now and then start adding stations so this is going to be the Moore Street station one so this is have I got yeah I've got the thing for that so that's Birmingham, Birmingham Moore Street and then we've got Solihull and then next one we've got um what have we got? So we've got Dorridge, which I haven't built, Warwick Parkway, Leamington Spa, and then coming down to Banbury, which is the last station we built. And then this is, I guess this was well, not an all, uh, all calling stopping service, but it does call at quite a few stations. And then we've got all the way down here, Vista North. And then what have we got? Princess Risborough, which we built in the last episode, which is going to be a little bit of an interchange. Not sure if I'm going to build the town yet, because I think at this point my computer is really starting to struggle. Princess, Princess Risborough. Princess? Princess Risborough. And then High Wycombe, which are you going to tell me which station you are? Are you High Wycombe? No, you're West Ryslip. Uh, which have I built? High Wycombe. And then have I built South Ryslip? I don't think I have, have I? Arrow South. I don't think I've built it. That's annoying. And I, I, did I build? I thought I built uh, High Wycombe. Obviously not. Oh well. And then obviously Princess Risborough. And then into Marleybone. There. And then obviously we've just got to do the return. Okie dokie. So I've done that one. So yeah, that's just Birmingham to Marleybone. And that's all fine. Uh, do we have a depot anywhere nearby probably not have I turned the depot no, I don't think I have pretty sure we should have a depot somewhere depot come on 
I, I built one somewhere. Should I, I should I just build one? I probably should, shouldn't I? Just chuck one in. I'll come up to Birmingham Moor Street and then I'll just chuck on the track here. Now I'm tending just to kind of chuck the trains on and, and not worry about them too much because obviously we're not really worrying about making money. We just want to get the trains on. So we're just going to chuck on a fake depot. Now I haven't used the timetable mod for some time, but I have had a comment recently on my timetable mod tutorial that it's not working. So I'm not entirely sure. Let's I mean it appears to be doing something I've got some timetables operated because I don't tend to, I don't use the timetables anyway I just use the unbunching feature so I might do some unbunching in a bit but I'm not really worrying too much about it so for this we want should we put on a diesel no diesel multiple units and they are the 172 yeah should I just chuck on a couple of them 100 mile per hour units they're fine two car unit and we've got a, is there a 170 no it's definitely a 1818 yeah um I thought Oh, there's the 168 three car yeah i'm not sure where where do the 172s operate into the word i should, probably should have looked that up uh but we'll chuck on a couple of them not sure what sort of livery but that's four car anyway so we'll have i think i'll do five of them full maintenance because i don't worry i have to worry about maintaining them and then just chilton like so so that's that one now the next one is Obviously, it's eventually going to start from Kidderminster, but obviously we haven't built a line out to Kidderminster yet. So this one's just going to be uh, from Snow Hill, and I just hope that Snow Hill is long enough. So Snow Hill, obviously Moore Street, and then this one is... Sol Solihull, have we built Solihull? Yes, we have built Solihull because we've got a train stop in there. So we've got Solihull and then we've got Warwick Parkway and then Leamington Spa and then Banbury, and then it's pretty much non-stop, I think, all the way to Marleybone which is too many stations in london now that one and then obviously we just got to do the return again so yeah banbury leamington spa warwick parkway solihull i might no am i going to i was, I was going to say i might build Norwich, but I don't think there's enough space, is there? What about, yeah, Solihull, and then, is it Solihull? And then Dorwich, actually, you know, yeah, there's a, there is space, so if, if it's Solihull, then Dorwich, I might just build Dorwich Station, just so it's replicated, just so it's there. I might not actually build the town itself, because I don't want to, uh, don't want to overwhelm my computer at this time. So, this is... It's eventually going to be a Chilton, Kidderminster to Marleybone, which is MYB, is it? Yes, it is, like so. so. I think what I'll do is I'll just speed the game up a little bit and just let these trains kind of... They're not going to space out because obviously we haven't got any unbunching or anything going on, but I'll just let these trains get down to uh, to London and then I'll put on the local hall sets because these haven't even all departed yet. Okie dokie, so they've all left Moore Street now. The last train is leaving Moore Street now. So let's take a look at these logo hauled. So there is actually a, let's go to wall. I think there's a fixed formation here that's done it for you. So yeah, the silver set. Uh, so that's all of those. And then we want a diesel train, diesel locomotive train, which is a 67. And I've subscribed to this silver set. And it does say that there is a 67 in there, I think, or maybe it's a 68. That. so i'm gonna to have to use the rexmum shropshire one i think which they did actually take possession of didn't they well they did start to lease the, the ex rexmum shropshire ones so or the ex Rex, rexmum shropshire ones got transferred to chilton's so i'm just going to put that one i know it's got the writing on the side but i can't see any other class 68s for that of oh, not 68s class 67s they do they get replaced by 68s but not quite yet uh does it say when they uh doesn't say anything about them and then passenger wagons we want a is there a dvt there should be it's around here it's it's a mark three it's a mark two mark three i'm not sure because i've still got subscribed to the i've got a mixture of the kind of the version two and the version ones because some of the version two trains uh mark threes don't have the correct liveries uh, but I can't see one there. Sleeper? No, it's not going to be a sleeper, is it? Mark 4. Let's just take a look and find. I'm pretty sure I found it. That's DB Cargo. That's not right. That's that's Chilton's Railway. That's the one. Like so. So you can see that 177 metres long. So I hope that Snow Hill is long enough. I think we'll have four of them. Four? Like so. And I think I might just space these out a little bit. I'll do it manually. So Chilton's Kidderminster eventually. You're going to you're gonna go on? It's going to take a while anyway, isn't it? Oh, don't crash. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna, I've got a spinning wheel, which which isn't normally good news. That's That's gone on. So we can take a look at that. We'll just close that a minute. Yeah, it does say... Unfortunately, it does say like Rexman Shropshire on the side of it. I think we'll just have to live with it. Unless there's something that I haven't correctly put on and 
the uh, the only thing is it doesn't look is it the correct color i don't know if it's the correct color scheme but that was the one that's available let's just go back to buy vehicles if i go to the mark three here is there any 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 what any wagons coaches you can build it yourself let's just take a look what sort of coaches there are that's midland mainline new that's midland mainline and then we've got the chilton's ones here so i think actually yeah it all looks pretty similar but it's just the 60 the class 67 that's in the wrong kind of well it's got the writing on it which we don't want but never mind let's just actually watch this go into snow hill because i don't think snow hill is long enough and i'm not sure if any of these stations are long enough if i'm honest the sh loading speed yeah because the new with the new update you get a loading speed uh, penalty if your train doesn't fully go into the platform so that was a little bit of a reduction of the loading speed but i guess i don't know does the dvt overhang the platform in real life i'm not entirely sure but what we want to watch is this going into well we watch it going to the moor street i think moor street should be long enough hopefully <laughs> come on in you in your pop uh, it's just flown straight through have i have i missed out moor street kidderminster snow hill moor street warwick parkway solid hall i've missed out moor street you know didn't like that did it no, that's because that's in the wrong place. So Solly Hull. Yeah, it should. Solly Hull. Yep, yeah, that should all be fine. I think just looking quickly, that did look long enough. Let's just take a look. Yeah, this the DVT's overhanging again. What oh, what's up? Just just spin around. You don't, you don't need to worry. Yeah, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna rebuild Snow Hill or put an extra platform in if I'm honest. I think I'll just have to live with the DVT hanging over the edge. What about I mean more streets a little bit different because I have put platform extensions on, but we're still gonna get that penalty, but I'm not really worried about a little bit of a time penalty on that. So that's all good, right? So let's get another one on. Uh Kidderminster Marleybone, that's the one. Okie dokie, so the last one's just about to pull into Snow Hill, so I'll just cut, put that one on there, like so. So we've got those local halls set on, and then we want to come down to Aylesbury, I think, or down to the southern end. So all the way down here, we've got another service. So we'll, actually, we'll start with the Oxford one. So Oxford, actually, no, we've got this service on here. Let's just deal with that first of all. So you can get sold. What's this line two? Nothing on line two. Don't know. Let's just get rid of that one and that one start and that one and then we want oxford oxford parkway bister village and then that's it uh Ox oxford oxford parkway and then bister and then non-stop i think by the looks of it oh computers oh let's slow the game down a little bit i'm not sure hopefully the uh, the graphics weren't jittering a little bit there as i was playing on four times speed so this is all pretty much non-stop all the way up to bister village oxford parkway so this is again chilton oxford to marleybone just give that a little bit of a blue Chilton colour, maybe maybe something a little bit different, like so. Have I built a depot? Oh, I haven't, so let's build another depot. We'll just chuck one. We actually, we do have all this track here, don't we? Do, but does that go into, it does, let's build a depot on the end of here, why not? Actually have something useful, uh, standard bumper, standard track, no catenary on, uh, actually high, high speed track, just so it matches. And then I guess we'll just have just three diesel of these ones again. We'll go with the three car, we'll go with, th I think, three of them. Yeah, that should be enough. Full maintenance, and then that one there, just chuck those on, let them do their thing. And then we want another service. Again, I think this is a more re recent service, isn't it? The one from Aylesbury. Although we do have the Aylesbury service going on this other line here, but I want another one going too. So, what are you actually? You're just Aylesbury. Have I built Aylesbury Parkway? I don't think I have. Well, no, I haven't, because <laughs> it would be here. That's something I need to build. So, let's go from here. Why, why have we got loads of lines? Aylesbury and then it is Princess Risborough and then that's it I think High Wycombe which I haven't built which I thought I had that's something again something I need to look at and then into there and then just back again hopefully this works let's just take a look at that in a different colour just see what it does with regards to getting on platforms so yeah it's going to change track there I think that's the only real option I think so that one's fine so what is actually Aylesbury Vale Parkway so it should be AVP, oh no, Chilton, AVP to Marleybone. And then we'll just put a, actually no, what we'll have is the Kidderminster, that'll be silver because that's more accurate. And then this can just be like a blue colour. That's a bit better, isn't it? Like so. And then I need another depot. Let's just chuck in, actually, the depot. No. Actually, I have to be a little bit careful with this one because they are both, sh oh no, they're just on that platform yeah they would be anyway don't think there's another switch coming down from that so this is a bi-directional platform i think and then we'll just go with some track 
with a depot no track first now the only thing with this is is a little bit of a little bit of a concern is i think we'll just have two trains on that so we'll go with these ones again two of them because it's a single track section between aylesbury and princess risborough then what happens is the stations act as block sections so you can run the risk of trains kind of blocking the actual platform so i think what i'll do is i'll just let that train get i'll let it actually almost get into marley baron and then I'll put on the other train just so they're as kind of spread out as possible. And then I need to actually look where Aylesbury Vale Parkway actually is. Because I'm not sure why I've kind of omitted that. I think that is just Aylesbury Station, isn't it? Okie dokie. So that should be, let's just chuck that one on there um, to that one. No, actually, we need to rename that. So that should be just AYS. And then Aylesbury Vale Parkway should be kind of around here somewhere, I think. And there might be a short two track section as well which might be beneficial so i don't think we need to worry about it too much for now but uh, yeah it's just something i need to uh to bear in mind so there's a couple of stations high wickham and aylesbury vale parkway which i think we need to build yeah that's uh, west Rislip, and then that's it thought i was going to build south Rislip, but obviously not i thought that was going to be the more st the, the station that's going to have the most trains calling at it that's what i assumed anyway so that's why i built that obviously there's no space for south Rislip now is there so no we're just going to have to leave that as is so we've got the chilton services on or most of them anyway we've got quite a few people here waiting to change trains which is all good i think i'll play around with the timetable see if it actually works but for now i'm just going to leave it what we want to do next is take a look at so we'll just zoom into here so the avanti services or obviously the virgin services are already pendolinos i've already transferred those over east midlands or oh, not sure about you lner we want to be in this view let's go back to let's go to lner to begin with so you should be uh is there a fixed formation of these so we'll go to all don't see any fixed formation of these uh, let's just slow the game down again just a little bit worried about my computer keeping up we've got those it's a city long no, your class your mark for three. We want mark fours. Any mark fours? I guess I could search, but the search doesn't usually tend to work. Yeah, we've got those, and then we've got yeah these ones here. So we'll just go. Ooh, what colour would it be at this time period? I'm not sure. It's like got the actual. It's 242. It's got the DVT on the end, so we just want to go to how long are my stations? Could be a, an issue. Electric. We want a class 91, and then we will just want East Coast silver that one 262 meters might just be all right uh, replace all of you anyway again this is going to take a while i think to do because obviously they're mods and it doesn't like loading mods okie dokie so switch those off we've got these there's a nice looking livery that actually I'm not sure if i got the exact right one but i think it should be close enough i don't know what color it would be would it be silver or would it be great at this time period we are in 2011 let's just take a look actually yeah we are uh, east coast ran till about 2015 by the looks of it but it is it is a good looking livery actually almost on a par with the gner one but not quite there let's just wait for this to pull into a station uh well garden city you're gonna stop there don't think you do do you have I got another? Oh, this, yeah, that's <laughs> that's lucky. So that's just long enough for those trains to turn around. So yeah, you're just straight through Well and Garden City anyway, so don't have to worry about that too much. Just a little bit worried about the other stations. I think they're 260 metres long, which should be all right, I hope. Are you going to depart the station? Are you just going to sit there? Is there anything in the platform? don't think there is. Yeah, he's finally getting underway. Yeah, it's the only kind of risk you run when using the fixed formation sets that are available, because they are the kind of the full length sets, aren't they? But it just makes them look more accurate. So let's just... Is there a train going to pull in? Let's just speed the game up briefly while I'm not moving around. Just wait to see if these actually... Actually, do, do they stop at Stevenage? Or do they just go straight through? I think they might be stopping. Are you? Is there going to be a penalty? Oh, God, these are way, way long. I thought I built all my mainline stations 260 metres long. Let's just take a look. Building... Yeah, you're getting a big penalty there, aren't you? Oh, I've built them 240 metres long. Right, okie dokie. I think what I'll do is I will replace these with something a bit shorter. So we want a one of them. We'll go with the silver and the grey. Yeah, and then we'll just build our own, I think. It's probably not going to be super accurate, but it'll be close enough. So it looked to me as if... Where's Mark 4s? Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 3, 4. No, I won't. Yeah, the only thing with those, you can't kind of... You can't take carriages away once you've put it in place. That's it. It's 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 there you can't edit it manually so we'll go with some of these so um just see how many of these we can get away with i guess and then one of them in the middle 
and then a youth first class it doesn't, it doesn't really matter i don't think and then we want a dvt on the end well, let's have we'll replace you with the flying scotsman dvt i think so you're 237 meters long although having said that okay let's this is going to be a bit of a weird way of doing it but let's do it this way anyway so we've got that one 237 meters long i mean it's not the end of the world having the time penalty because we're not worried about money but i just think it might just hold things up a little bit especially when the east coast mainline gets a little bit busier so let's replace all of those for now and then what i'll do is i'll replace no i just want to edit edit this one because i just want the flying scotsman dvt because that's a nice looking uh, nice looking vehicle i think that one good so they're on there and then we want some more trains don't we yes we do let's see if we can just kind of get through some of these so the london underground that's no that's london underground london overground what have we got what are you so you are a class four five six electric multiple units i think they're standing in for something else aren't they class four 450 421 456 these are kind of a, a fit all type train i think uh, but do we have a london underground southwest trains thames link first capital connect london overground silver link no we just want london underground is it, is it tfl i don't know let's just go with tfl and have we got two of them on i think three car so yeah that's all fine let's just actually let's just check these vehicles you haven't got many people on so i think we'll just stick with the three car for those so replace those and then have we got any other london overground service we don't we've got london northwestern railway crew to euston obviously at this time it's london midland so we'll replace these with class 350s which should be in service now class 350 silver link uh, class 350 are there any of these particularly full no we'll just go with the four car yeah replace those and then we've got Birmingham Euston again, it's it's just uh, 350s isn't it, so where are you, that one, that one, London Midland, let's just take a look, any of these, particularly full 72, actually what, um, what capacity have you got, capacity 168 so we don't need to, don't need to worry I don't think, I mean we could have them as 8 cars to make them a bit more realistic, but I think we'll just, actually crew Euston I think is pretty much all 8 cars, I mean we don't really need the capacity, but I think it would be nice just to have some 8 car trains on there wouldn't it, I think some of them are even 12 cars aren't and they split maybe, so yeah we'll put some uh, 8 car services, 170 metres long, don't need to worry about the length, that's all fine. So we've got the London Overground ones, London Underground, obviously they all pretty much change, stay the same, Avanti, Avanti. What other services? We've got East Midlands Railway, I haven't looked what that would be at this period actually. East Midlands Trains, wouldn't it, I think. Let's take a look, so a diesel, no not diesel multiple units, locomotive, diesel locomotive, class 43. I'm going to take a punt and say this will be East Midlands Trains, passenger wagons, class Mark 3s, don't know which one it is in, um, which variety, this one. So let's chuck a couple of them on, then we'll chuck a buffet in there. We don't want, we don't want one of those buffets, do we? We want one of these. And then back to coaches, and then just a couple more of these until we get to, I think, that length. Oh, what have I done there? That, eh? That's weird. Okie dokie, let's, let's replace that uh, power car. Where are you? Put one of them, 221 metres long here. Yeah, I think we'll put that on there. We, have, we haven't really taken time to appreciate the uh, East Midlands Railway trains, have we? Or the Midland Mainline ones, rather. They are looking a bit tatty now. Uh, did I? Is that, no, it hasn't get me consist. Right, let's try that again. Right, so forward, reverse, passenger vehicle it is the version one of the mark threes i think a couple of them buffet car emt emr is it just an emt oh, i don't know chuck one of them on and then a couple more of these 221 20, yeah. 221 i think is long enough and then just chuck that on and then replace all of you with those that's another it is quite a nice livery There were Thameslink. I'm not entirely sure about Thameslink vehicles, actually. I think we, we're still running with the network southeast, aren't we? But I don't think I've got anything vaguely... I mean, what are you? You're a 4 two, a 3 two, one aren't you? I don't think I've got anything vaguely represented in a Thameslink service. Not for this time period, anyway. Not for 2011. The first Capital Connect was... I haven't written it down. I think First Capital Connect was a bit later. So let's just take a look, anyway. Electrical multiple units... If you know of any vehicles that'll fit the bill, then do let me know in the comments. That would be really appreciated. But I don't think we've got any kind of Thameslink colours. I know these aren't the right trains, but we haven't got any Class 319s anyway, have we? So, first Great Eastern, one, Capital Connect, Great Eastern, National Express. No, I think they might just have to stay in the network southeast colours until the Great, uh, until the first Capital Connect, Liveries, Silverlink. 
no we'll leave those as is let's get off that so i think that's pretty much it we do have some great anglia ones as well don't we we've got v2 ones again i didn't look at the that let's just take a quick look Okie dokie, so we're just towards the end of the National Express Great Anglia. So what are we running here? 321s. Where are you? 321. I did have you a minute ago. There we go. Do we have the National Express livery? Didn't see one. No. Um, one. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. National Express Great Anglia. So we'll replace that for now. Place you. Uh, Great Western. You should be diesel and then you are just first i think in this time period we have shifted towards the the kind of more plain power cars haven't we and then passenger vehicles mark three which ones are you in dynamic line so we'll do the same again we'll just chuck on a few units until we get to 221 chuck that on there is that roughly in the right position i think it is so we'll replace those and then what have we got here? You're your already kind of those great Western colours. You're London North Eastern Railway, your LNER. And then you are fine. Freight line. I think I'll just stay with that for now. And I think that's all of the trains we've got for now. Are all pretty much next rail. Yeah, I think your cross rail, I think you're still that, aren't you? West Midlands trains. Actually, these three Coventry and Uneaton. What should you be? These all these are multiple unit class. 350 uh, class 150 in london midland colors just like that and then shrewsbury you should be class 170 in london midland colors don't think we've got a class 172 have we so i think I'll, yeah let's just take a look we haven't got many passengers on board actually so i think i'll just stick with a two car thameslink yeah we've already looked at thameslink we haven't got any transport for wales should be you're a class 158 do we have a reaver trains wales class 158 i don't think we do no so you might have to stay in the current livery i think yeah until the transport for wales livery is unlocked wales and borders revised well yeah don't think that was operating at this time period it would have just been an reaver trains wales color class 158 i think so i think you'll have to stay southern southern actually I haven't there's, lo there's loads i haven't uh research actually isn't looking at it there's loads of services that i need to put on so let's just quickly look at southern yeah by the looks of it these should be in southern railway livery obviously we don't have the correct trains for this either so i think this is going to be you're a four five six aren't you so let's just take a look do we have any southern liveried ones yes we do uh gray bottom i don't know let's just chug let's check see what you haven't got anyone on board so yeah we'll just go with the three car in the southern livery for now i think we'll just leave that as is there are some southern 170s as well aren't there but i think for the third rail units we're just having to rely on these four five sixes for now so there we are bit of a different episode bit a uh, bit more kind of chilled <laughs> slower but hopefully we've got more accurate trains operating now i think what i'll do is instead of a time lapse i'm going to do a cab ride i know i haven't fully detailed or decorated the chilton line yet but i think what i'll do is i'll do a cab ride from birmingham all the way down to the chilton's i think i might just have to do it at two times speed because even with me frame locking the game at uh, 30 frames per second once the trains do start to get into london even at one time speed they really do start to struggle and slow down so i might just speed the footage up uh, just dive two or three times so you can get to enjoy the route a little bit but i think i'm going to leave it there for today i'm going to leave you with i think the train that i was kind of most thingy about most um, keen about getting in service was the local hall set those ones so i'm going to leave it there for today until next time bye bye